All right, hi everybody. Dr. Katie here with my uh, two boys. This is Jonah. Say hi. Hi. And this is Jameson. Say hi. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to make one of our favorite uh, healthy treats, which are what are we making, Jonah? We're making chocolate chip cookies. cookies. So Jonah's going to tell you the good ingredients that we're going to use. So can you tell everybody the ingredients, Jonah? Do you chocolate chips and very little sugar? Chocolate and chips, very little sugar. Just healthy, they go with cookies and cocoa and almond flour. Almond flour. And it's very good to go with cookies. Very good. Made organic butter. <laughs> good job. It's very healthy, and if you eat it, it's so good healthy. Um, and what's this? What is it called? Uh, vanilla. Vanilla. Good vanilla. job. It's yeah. healthy with cookies, and this is just bacon powder. It's so healthy. It does all this stuff. It makes your body stronger. <laughs> and honey, and this honey is from bees. And if you want to try, get it from a store. Good. Cool. <laughs> What else are we putting in it? Stevia. Stevia. It's kind of, kind of not good for you to eat, but it's healthy in cookies and it's really good. Good. And, and then we have a sea salt. Sea salt. And an egg. <laughs> we kind of used up the evil stuff, but they can go there and they can go to pink powder. Okay. So first thing we're going to put in is going to be our organic butter. Can you toss that in there, Jameson? Yeah. Okay. Shake it. My dad did a good job. You did a great job, honey. <laughs> All right. So we'll mix that up. A little slow. Good. Over there. All right, Jonah. Sit over here and help us with the cookies. Mommy. So um, stick a butter, and then we're going to do a fourth a cup of honey. Mix it in with the butter that in there for me. Squeeze. Squeeze it some more. <laughs> Good. I like to use honey. I think it gives the cookies a little bit better consistency. Um, rather than using like white sugar, it's healthier. Um, but I try to use a, as little honey as possible. And then I add to the sweetness with adding in stevia too. So the stevia, um, I just have the packets of stevia, but this probably equates to uh, between a half uh, a teaspoon to a fourth, uh, fourth a teaspoon of stevia. So that'll kind of sweeten them up the rest of the way, and the honey makes them sweet too. And I like to combine them together so I don't have to use, like I said, quite as much honey in there. So we'll kind of mix that together nicely. And then I'll add um, a fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. Now we're going to crack an egg. Jonah, can you crack the egg? Or is James, Jameson? How about Jonah crack it? All right, Jameson's going to crack the egg. You can do the vanilla. So crack the egg. Okay, perfect. Good job. Presto. <laughs> and then we're going to do a whole um, tablespoon of vanilla. Make sure you get pure like vanilla, not uh, imitation. So it's actually uh, pure vanilla. Tablespoon of vanilla. Nice job. And then now we're gonna do um, a fourth a teaspoon of the aluminum free baking powder. It's good for you, but you're not allowed to eat it, but it's still healthy. Helps your cookies be healthy. Bake better, I think so. And now, kind of mix that in just a little bit. And then we're going to add the almond flour and then the chocolate chips. So, Bye. almond flour, we're going to do two and a half cups of the almond flour. This is a much better alternative than using. Um, uh, white flour or wheat flour. One cup. Good job, Jameson. Shake it. Good job. Two cups. You can also make 
cookies with um, coconut flour, you yeah. would just use about half the amount that I'm using with the almond flour. Good job, bud. Dump it in. And then we're going to do half a cup in there. Yeah, you're fine. Chocolate chips are always the fan favorite here. <laughs> Good. And then now, Jonah. All right, let's see the chips. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a half a cup of chocolate chips. You're going to help me? This is the most important part of chocolate chip cookies, huh? Is the chocolate chips. All right, about a half a cup of chocolate chips. Dump them in there for me. Let me see it over here. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. That's funny. That's good. All right. That's good. Dump them in, Jameson. Good. Now we're going to mix them up a little bit. And then now we'll taste test and make sure that our... So it makes a nice cookie batter. Um, let's see if it meets the approval. You want to cookie dough, dude? You want to bite a cookie dough? Or you're good with chocolate good chips? <laughs> you want to try some? All right, here, Jonah. <laughs> Get that dude some water. <laughs> so. And then um, what you'd want to do then is just scoop out um, about a, you know, a spoonful onto a cookie sheet. So we scoop out about, I'd say a spoonful. The thing with almond flour is that um, sometimes it doesn't like settle like a regular flour. So it's good to kind of pat it down because it's going to be about the same shape when it comes out as when it went in the oven. Mm. And then you'd want to um, bake them at 350 and you'd want to bake them for... Um, I'd say about uh, eight to days. ten minutes, a hundred days. Okay, days. bake them for a hundred days, uh, or I bake them for eight to ten minutes until they're kind of like golden brown. Uh, better to err on the side of less done. The more done they get, they're going to get crumbly. Uh, if you bake them a little bit less, they're going to be a little bit more um, gooey. So, anything else you want to add, Jonah? Or you think that's pretty good? That's pretty good. All right. How about you, Jameson? Okay. I hope you try the recipe. I'm going to link at the bottom of the video the ingredients and, um, and the recipe so you guys can try um, making healthy chocolate chip cookies.